the intro music yeah Woo hey everybody and welcome to the video covering the mantis which is as of when this video is coming out obviously the newest specialty ship in the game following a similar path of it's got its own loop it's got its own research it's it's the vidar it's the stella it's etc etc so that probably won't be too much of a surprise for you i did say to y'all that i would not buy the ship that i would just if Scopely gave it to you, I'll make a video. So as I do try to tell, hey, gave me a ship. Here it is. And we're going to talk about some of the basics of it. We're going to go over the firing pattern, the, the build cost, the various ops locks, everything involved with it, as well as why the heck is Rev currently running this weird crew? Uh, there's a few different crew variations, but you'll see why <clears throat> in a second. The, the short answer, honestly, is, well, one of the biggest problems of launch, and they did tell me this is something that is being discussed right now, but that doesn't mean any action is being you know, taken at the moment, but cargo cap is really low. So right now I've got Strange New Worlds Lawn underneath for max cargo, and then I even threw Stein on there just to increase the cargo size because the cargo is so small. And part of its grind path that you're gonna go through is going after these special system hostiles so that you can get mostly these. You just really care about the Venom. Anything else that happens is kind of whatever, but you're looking for the Venom as you go through these systems right here. So yeah, that's the plan. We'll go through various things, go through the different research it has, talk about the refinery, because there's a lot about the Mantis that gets added to the game as you go through the long process of getting resources for her, because she is going to be a time sink, ladies and gentlemen. But in terms of the value that she brings, there are a lot of things that she adds to the game, including sourcing for Strange New World officers. And we believe the potential of adding the strike team to that. So. When you unlock the Mantis, you then get the refinery here. Now, real quick, for those who are going to ask, free-to-play path has not been announced for this ship. The cheapest way to get the ship is to buy the Elite Battle Pass for $20, and then the Half Mantis pack for $50, so $70 US for the ship. We have been told by the, you know, uh, the team that it will become available in the free-to-play path at some point. We don't know when that is, so if you're watching this video, this video will just cover how the ship works but not necessarily how to procure it because that's an unknown as of now but once you unlock it you're going to get several different options here one of those being the ancient beacons just like with the vidar you're going to have beacons to get into these systems they are token locked you can also i don't have to pull the cores that you need to get the different upgrades for various pieces pull that here then you got condensed venom but you're going to need that for using your actual ability or if you're going into fights we'll talk about that in a bit and then you have all of these that you can turn in. So the hull fragments you'll need if you want to start going after officers. Then you've got right here the research. You're going to need the synthetic eyes for research. You need the syndicate XP if you want to use it as a way to grind your syndicate XP and get more for it. And then finally, last but not least, the synthetic nitrium, which is important because you need this to actually upgrade the mantis. So you need all of these. And obviously, the amount of grind you can do is determined by the cargo size. So that's why I mentioned it early on, but this is a lot of different things going on in this one singular refinery. I probably would have actually rather they threw it into the support tab because it is kind of like the Cerritos. It is kind of like the discovery here, but it does have multiple. So I guess that's why they didn't do that. But let's go back out there and you see, so as we're grinding hostiles, you'll notice that even though it's tier one, it's level of five, not even a million strength yet, and not even running a full combat crew, it's easy to able to easily take down these hostiles. The reason being is if you look at the special ability of the Mantis Acnean Corruptor, you're gonna get a 70,000% damage boost versus hostiles at the low level. Remember, as the ship tears up, these things get better when you level it up. So you're just gonna have to continue to grind through here. Now, you can also see that there are several different higher level systems where the hostiles getting stronger in each one. 
Now, for research purposes, I will go ahead and waste tokens just for y'all because I love you and I appreciate you, but you are limited in tokens. Now, if you have events going on now, keep that in mind. You're limited in how much you can use. You did have a gift given out for Condensed Venom to help people with some of these because they weren't allowing you to do enough on the events for when this launched, but you're probably not gonna have that available if you're watching this video two, three weeks, months, years, et cetera, from now. So we'll go ahead and warp over there. Now, in terms of strategy real quick in the refiner before we jump to the research tab, strategy for me is gonna be focusing on upgrading the ship as high as you can, because like with many of the refineries, the higher you tier, the better you're getting in terms of return. Now, the temptation is gonna be for a lot of people to turn this one in for Syndicate XP, especially with all the expansions to Syndicate in the game recently. However, that may not be the most official way to go about it. You might end up having yourself running into a wall like I did where I was focused on the discovery research first instead of getting it maxed out. That's something that you're gonna to have to think about as well as you're going through this process. Now let's hop over here, see the level four, uh, 34s as we hop into this new system. Strength-wise, getting significantly stronger there where we had like a 28 mil hostile, now we're going even higher. So keep that in mind as you're grinding through this, they do start to get beefier and beefier even by just one level. See the 28 million here that I easily beat. Now let's take a look at going against a 34. Keep this in mind, especially if you decide to run something that's a little bit more cargo-based like I did, specifically because it doesn't have much cargo. So fight-wise, you see we're gonna take significantly more damage. Still pretty fine though. I don't think that there's a ridiculous amount of damage. You did take just a little peep right here with your shields. You're gonna lower a little bit, but I think it all works out. Now you do have little exo comps that you can pull from this as you're fighting. And these are supposed to automatically activate if you're fighting with the ship. That's not necessarily the biggest end all be all for me, but I guess it kind of is what it is. Now, in terms of actually seeing this ship in action and fighting, we covered that with some screenshots yesterday. If y'all remember, I'm going to go ahead and send this out a couple more times, but we'll take a look at some of these screenshots. The Mantis can provide a tremendous benefit in PVP. That's the entire point of the Mantis. And what we'll do is I actually will put out on the screen for y'all to look at Mantis as a warship itself. Now this all comes down to the ability of the Mantis, which if you hit the manage button, you can scroll over and that's gonna be this little icon right here. Now I'm a tier one Mantis. I've got the lowest level possible, but critical chance, critical damage, shots per round, delaying weapons, and can't warp. That's the main function of this ship. Now here it is in combat. Keep in mind that you do not have to use the Mantis and attack for this. You simply need to debuff, much like you would a regular ship. So if you're going to get here, you have the little icon to hit the debuff and you can target a player and then debuff them, which makes them significantly weaker in a PVP situation. Now, early on, we've already seen people using this in things like Armada runs to make their opponents lose Armadas or, or doing straight PVP. The debuff itself is extremely strong, arguably a little bit too strong, but new content comes out, adjustments can always be made after that content releases. Keep in mind though, that you are gonna be limited to how effective you can be out here based on how much you can actually grind it and get it upgraded. And because of things being so small and because of these hostiles being so large, it is very difficult to fight these with regular ships. It is possible though, because these are not the strongest hostiles in the world. Right here, top of the hostile, you can click it, but you can see it next to it denoted that there is a little exocomp there that you can use that helps fighting them. Now, obviously, if you're using the strange new world crew like I am, you're going to focus almost entirely on explorers. You can use something like Pipe Moreau Chin, which is effective, but predictably, the new hostile crews that have come out really help this shine a little bit, especially as it already has a huge boost with the piercing values, thanks to Strange New Worlds Ortega, with you being on a battleship going against an explorer. And it just comes down to filling up the cargo and then going through the process of upgrading this. Now, real quick, do not want to forget about the research tree that's been added to this. If you go into your support tab, you're going to find, or your starships tab, which is same thing as support, you're going to find some Mantis researches. Now, this starts off with weaponry with 20 total researches right here. Whew. There's your bonus there in terms of attacking the hostiles. And you get the hull plating bonus, which in theory, as you begin to make the mana stronger and go through the research, it can be a semi-capable PvP ship but as it stands right now, out of the box, it's not very good PvP-wise. Now, why is that? We could put on the screen the weapons of the Mantis itself. It doesn't necessarily have very strong weapons. You compare it to equal strength of like an Epic. 
you know, compared to the Enterprise, Tier 4 versus Tier 4, you can see not very strong weapons. But as you go through the research, these can, in theory, make these stronger and make it something worth investing in that has more long-term impact. But still, just keep in your head that this is not the strongest set of ship in the game. And that's true of most specialty ships. So you've got research, you've got the refinery, its own loop, and this is something they expect you to run through every single day. As you can see right here, use the Manus ability to debuff another player and use it to debuff, uh, use the ship to debuff other players. You have whole fragments here. The positive for me is these new turn-ins are going to allow you, this is using your Mantis every day, but it's going to allow you to then get more of those Strange New World officers, hopefully eventually the strike team in there as well. I do want to add that this video does not negate the video I made yesterday about how the new tactics here and the new meta this is forming scares me. It really does. At the same time, though, it is here. This is the video that gives you all the information you need to see how the Mantis works. Obviously, the month of August is centered around the Mantis and everything. And the total cost for the Mantis? Well, on the screen, look at her. It, she's going to be a little bit of an expensive view. She is made to be a long-term grind as... Many of you are quite used to. This is not a new thing in Star Trek Fleet Command. Still is something that you probably will want to keep in the back of your head. As you go through all these, it is kind of a, you know, at least for me, good to try to focus on the ones that drop those exit comps that kind of automatically activate to make things stronger as you're going through your grind. And once again, and I'm harping on this a lot, I realize, but cargo, cargo, cargo. You really want to try to get as much cargo on this boat as you can because you are limited by your refines. And if you look at these refined amounts, even at tier one, there's a lot that you need. So to do a two chest pull, you need 15,000, which is more than I can even get in two runs of my Mantis at the moment. 3,000 for a regular chest. 150 parts is not gonna take us very far. You can see that in the cost analysis that we have had here up on the screen. Now, if you have specific questions about the Mantis, of course, you can just ask me in the YouTube comment section below or hit me up on my Discord. Easiest way to get a hold of me as we go through the grinding process. Live long and prosper. Stay safe for those space cowboys. Deuces, that's me. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. And we'll catch you in a live stream a little bit later today. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.